It's back! What's up guys, Hickeykamortycoon here. I'm back with some fantastic news for us today. As you may recall, several weeks ago, I released a video saying that the Nisei Koi review had to be taken down due to its horrible video and audio quality. Well, guess what? I've just finished it. It's back up. I've added some things to it to hopefully make it a bit more entertaining for you guys. So let's go ahead and take a look. The story revolves around two high school students, Rakuichi Jo and Shitoge Kirisaki, whose families so happen to be part of major crime syndicates in Japan. The two soon find themselves forced into being in a fake relationship by their guardians to avoid a possible all-out war between their family's gangs. And for the most part, the plan works. They manage to fool everybody. Well, just about everybody. Except for a few who remain skeptical. But rather than me rattle on about it, it's best just to go watch it and find out more for yourself. One of the things I truly loved about this series was the mixture of animation with manga snips to help illustrate certain parts of the story. It gave each scene a very nostalgic feel, especially if you've already read the manga. Not only that, but the bright colored scenery throughout the series as well as the well animated facial expressions of each character made for something extremely beautiful yet entertaining to watch. Now let's take a look at some of our voicing cast from this series. Our two main characters, Raku and Chitoge, are voiced by Koki Uchihama and Nao Toyama. Nao's other known roles include Chiho from The Devil's a Part-Timer and Nagisa Shiota from The Assassination Classroom OVA. Uchiyama's most known roles are Soul from Soul Eater and Midnight from Fairy Tale. He does have several others, but I'm not going to take my time to list them all. That's right, you heard me. <laughs> Moving on. Marika's father is played by Tachiki Fumiko, whose other known roles include Drake from High School DxD, Craig from One Piece, Kinpach from Bleach, and <gasps> Sloth from FMA Brotherhood, Nagatomi from Samurai Champloo, Lieutenant Surge from Pokemon, and many more. And next up we have Kajiyuki playing the role of Shu. Some other well-known roles for him include Leon from Fairy Tale, Satomi from Black Bullet, and wait, what is that playing? What is that playing? Did someone just mention boobs? What is this? Oh, oh well, yeah, that's right. He also does Hyoto Isi of High School DxD. Ikoi is a fantastic hair and romance comedy, guys. If you have not seen this series yet, I highly, highly recommend that you do. Every single girl that comes into Raku's life during the story has their very own unique personality and quirks that makes them extra adorable and extra lovable to the crowd. You will have the hardest time choosing just one to ship them with. It'll throw you this way, it'll throw you that way. You'll choose this one one moment and choose the other one the other. It is fucking fantastic. It took me forever to choose one for Raku, but I chose Chitoge in the end. Now, for choosing a waifu for myself, I chose Marika. Why did I choose Marika? Because she was willing to change herself for Raku, and she did. Not only that, but she offered to change again for Raku toward the end of the series. And when a woman is willing to change herself, regardless of knowing the fact that she doesn't have to for the person she loves, that speaks volumes, guys, and that really touched me right here. That and, well, I have a thing for the Japanese Southern accents. But other than that, let me know what you guys thought. If you've seen the series or if you've read the manga this far, who do you ship Raku with and who do you ship yourself with as a waifu? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more anime reviews. And until next time, I'm Hikikimori-kun.